All right, this video is going to be about cross multiplication. There are lots of different things we use cross multiplication for, especially in sixth grade, and then it continues on throughout probably most of your math career. So I'm going to start with a basic concept that we need to know and most of you have been introduced to it and already understand it, uh, I think, but I'm going to talk about it again. So cross multiplication is directly related to equal ratios or equivalent ratios, also equivalent fractions, but we're going to just use the word ratios for this lesson and I'm going to be writing them in fraction form. So let's say you have a ratio of 1 to 2. And you want to find, <coughs> excuse me, you want to find an equivalent ratio for 1 to 2. Well, the easiest way to explain this, in my opinion, is to draw out a picture. Of course, you know me, I love drawing pictures. Excuse me, I have to take off my sweater. So, Let's see, so let's say we have one square to two uh, triangles, okay? That is a ratio of one to two, one square to two triangles. Now, if we want an equal ratio, we have to keep that the same. It has to be one square to two triangles or it's not going to be equal. So what we can do is we can multiply this fraction by any number, really. You can also divide, but we're mostly going to focus on multiplying for this lesson. So let's say we want to multiply it by 2. Well, if you're going to multiply it by 2, you have to remember that you have to multiply the top and you have to multiply the bottom. So if I do that, I will get 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, let's draw that out. We've got 2 squares and 4 triangles. Now, let's see, do I have equal ratios. Well, I still have one square to every two triangles. You could especially see it if you just draw a little dotted line down the middle. It's just multiplied by two. So your ratio is still essentially one to two. And you can see that here. So one to two, one to two. But this all together is two to four making this and this equivalent ratios. Okay, so when you are doing cross multiplication, okay, what cross multiplication is, first of all, is, let's just use one half and two fourths, is when you multiply what's across from each other and those things are equal. So for example, if I were to cross multiply these two ratios, two times two and one times four will be equal if these two ratios are equal. So let's see, two times two equals four and one times four equals four. Okay, well, we already knew they were equal, but just to show you that the cro that's what cross multiplication is. Now, the way that it works, this is the whole point of this video, is why that works. So let's try with the one half again and the two fourths, just keep it simple. So if you were to try and make these two things equal, you might multiply this fraction by four, just because you want to get something equal. So if you were to multiply this by 4 
and this by 4, you would end up with 4 eighths. Now, since I want these to be equal, I should multiply this by 2 because if I multiply this by 4, then to get that equal to that, I would have to multiply it by 2. So essentially, you're multiplying the fraction by the other fraction's denominator. So times 2 and times 2. And then we get 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. Once again, they are equal. And they both equal also 4 eighths, or 4 to 8, because we're talking about ratios. Okay. So, really, what you're doing is seeing if those two top numbers are going to be the same. Because the denominator is always going to be the same if you're going to multiply them by each other. So, when you're cross multiplying, all you're doing is multiplying the top number by the other denominator and the other top number by the other denominator, which is exactly what you did here you're just saving the step of multiplying those together and coming up with two whole numbers. It won't always be whole numbers, but in this circumstance it is. So I think I'm going to stop this video now and do a different one for the next cross-multiplication thing.